Sergeant? Two people, husband and wife. The woman's unconscious, but they think she's gonna be okay. Man's gone, we're gonna have to cut him out. I want you to go around back, I want you to check, make sure we didn't miss anything. Get going. Dinner's here. It's pizza. It's your favorite. Sweetheart, come on. You have to try to eat something. Do you remember the story about the little girl who was looking out the window watching her brother bury the family dog? She was crying. And her dad came and brought her to another window. She looked out and she saw this beautiful flower growing up out of the ground. And she smiled. And her dad said, see, you were just looking out the wrong window. Dad's dead, Mom. I know, sweetheart. I miss him, too. I miss him very, very much. Please be excused. She has to move. <laughs> Dr. Olson says you have to use your leg. Otherwise, you could wind up crippled. Why don't you go outside and play and get some sunshine, all right? Come on. Here you go.
Get off there! Get my head! Get off! Ah! Get off! Right, stay get off! <laughs> hey, Ginger! Ginger! <laughs> Whoa! Easy! Easy, Ginger! Look at my hat. That horse done gone bad, Ben. Look what it did to my favorite oh, hat. Settle down, amigo. Could have been a lot worse. Oh, yeah, like how? You could have been wearing that hat. Well, you got a point. But, Ben, I don't mean to tell you your business, but you got to put that horse down before she kills somebody, mainly me. Yeah, buddy, you know as well as I do, that horse is championship quarter horse stock. At least she was before she got that leg hurt, started getting mean. Mean? That horse is psycho. Look at my hat. Oh, forget the dang hat, buddy. Spirit like that comes along maybe once in a lifetime. Putting her down, it just don't seem right. Yeah! Hey, get away from that hat. You hear me? Get away from that hat, I'm gonna. you not to get in a paddock with a strange horse, huh? That is a mean animal. She could have killed you. I'm sorry. I'm not mad at you. I'm Ben Taylor. This is my place. Why'd you name her Ginger? Look at her coat. It's the same color as gingerbread. She's pretty. Yeah, she's pretty mean. She's mean as the devil. Well, her leg hurts. Mm-hmm. She limps just like me. Got banged up in a rodeo. Got that leg there. Healed crooked. Maybe she needs therapy. <laughs> yeah. Therapy, huh? Yeah. Physical therapy. I have to go there three times a week. Uh-huh. Well, I'd better be going. <laughs> She's funny. So you live around here? Over there in the trailer park. Uh-huh. Well, look, kid, you, uh... You come on back if you want, but you do me a favor. Yes, sir? You don't crawl into a paddock with a strange horse, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, bye-bye, Ginger. Bye-bye. Ah, like this, don't you, honey, huh? <laughs> hey, buddy. Yeah? You're not gonna believe what just happened. <laughs> Don't tell me you proposed to Dallas again. I get that crazy, you can shoot me. I'll leave Dallas for you in my will. Uh, no, thank you. As you well know, I've been down that marriage trail four times already. That's enough for any cowboy. <laughs> well, what's got you so fired up? I was a little girl. She just crawled into Ginger's paddock. Of course, I thought Ginger was gonna stomp a mud hole in her, but she didn't. She let the kid pet her. You gotta be lying. No, no. The kid walked right up and petted Ginger like she was a puppy. I'll be dang. Well, that kid is lucky she's not dead. 
You know that Craig Hardy's coming by in a couple of days to pick up some horses. I know. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you like that, huh? How's my Mary Sunshine? Hi. I could sure use a hug. Mom, did you know there were horses next door? Really? Did I ever tell you that when I was a little girl, I had a horse? No. <laughs> I did. You did? Uh-huh. <laughs> what was his name? His name was Socks. <laughs> Why'd you name him Socks? Because he looked like he had white knee socks on. <laughs> Reach up the stairs. <laughs> Morning, Dallas. How are you? Melinda? I'm sick and tired of you babying Melinda. Morning to you, Ben. How are you doing? And just look at this ring. Look at it. It's way too soft for competition. Dallas, I dragged the ring to keep the footing safe. If horses don't get hurt, the kids don't get hurt. I'm paying you good money to teach Melinda to race, and you're not worth a plug nickel. Well, seems like this plug nickel's done good enough to get your daughter to the state championship. You know, Dallas, you got a real attitude. Personally, Ben, I'd rather be a winner with an attitude than a broken down old cowboy without a dime to his name. Melinda, saddle your horse. Hey, Dallas. You still make a pair of Wranglers look better than any woman I ever saw. <laughs> they love it. Come on. You love getting your nose scratched, don't you? You're so pretty. Yes. Hi, I'm Sunny, and this is Ginger. You right here? Gee, I wonder what her problem was. <laughs> hey, little girl, what are you doing in there? Ginger, stop that. That's no way to behave. Hey. Now, didn't you hear what I told you about climbing into paddocks? Yes, sir, Mr. Ben. You said not to climb into pens with horses I don't know. Uh-huh. I know, Ginger. We already made friends. <laughs> oh, well, I guess you have. It's the craziest thing I ever saw. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. I still don't believe it. Uh, Sonny, this here's Buddy. Buddy works with me. Howdy. Hi. Sonny, tell you what. You run over to the tack room, grab down a brush. I bet we could convince Buddy here to give you a little lesson in brushing Ginger down. Really? Yep. Oh, you would like that, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. You stay right here, okay? Don't you go anywhere. Here you go. Yeah. Right underneath. Here you go. Right up on the wall. You'll see him up there. Okay. I still don't believe it. <laughs> Who's that girl with the crutch? I don't know her name, but I think she's a friend of Ben's. I've seen her around here. What's she doing with that old crow bait, Ginger? I don't know why. Because I want to know, that's why. OK. Ready for sweet dreams? <laughs> What's that? This is a book that I had when I was a little girl about horses. Want me to read you some? Sure. Mommy, hmm? do you think there are horses in heaven? I would think so. Do you think Daddy would have a horse in heaven? I think that. Daddy would probably rather have a sailboat. Let's see. You love to get your tummy brush, don't you? 
Looking so pretty. They're selling that horse, you know. Are you talking to me? The guy's here right now who buys horses to chop him up and sell them for dog food. I heard him talking to Ben, and that's the horse he's here to get. You're a liar. Whatever. Don't worry, Ginger. I'm not gonna let anybody hurt you. Sonny, come on and clear out of here for a minute. Go ahead. So, this is the man killer I've heard so much about, huh? <laughs> you sure don't like me, that's for sure. I don't know, Ben. She's pretty skinny. I'll tell you what, I'll give you $400 for it. Ben, I take it and run. Sonny, 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 we're doing business here. Now, what is it? I'll buy her. You what? I'll buy Ginger. Well, how much are you offering? Four dollars. Mm-hmm. Four dollars. Now, Sonny, why should I go and sell Ginger to you for four dollars? This man here, he's gonna give me four hundred. Is that not for Ben, come on, you want four hundred or not? Craig, I'll tell you what. You go on and get her, she's yours. is a killer, Ben. You ought to have her put down. Sonny, you lead her out of there, she's yours. Are you crazy? Let her go. Let her go. Listen, horse. Let her go. Did you kill her? That's it, Sonny. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ain't a deal till I get my money. He's yours. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> so somebody's gonna go to 500. No wonder I'm broke all the time. You had to do it, huh? Buddy, I couldn't help myself. Yeah. Sure. I do the right thing. <laughs> ah, you're darn right I did. any sense who is Ben the cowboy who owns ginger what does he have to do with dog food did you buy a dog no 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 a horse you've got us here come on come on a horse come on. wait you bought a horse Sonny's mother. Ben? Yeah. Ben. Ben Taylor. Um, look, there must be some kind of misunderstanding. Sonny says that you sold her that horse. Well, that's about the size of it. She's a little girl. You can't sell her a horse without my permission. Well, that's a fact, but you see, there were some extenuating circumstances. Well, really? Such as? Well. <laughs> You're a sweetie. You're funny. Look, that's all well and good, mister. 
But the truth is, I can't afford to feed and care for a horse. Sonny can do a little work for me part-time, pay for Ginger's kid. I think it might be good for her. Can't you see she's been hurt? Well, look, lady, I'm no doctor, but look, yeah. That looks like good medicine to me. Yes, oh, yes. <laughs> You're right, you're no doctor. Come on, Sonny, we're going home. <laughs> Sonny, we're going home. Come on, get your crutch. I just wanted to stay a little bit longer. Let's go. Bye-bye, Ginger. You're cutting too tight in the turn. <laughs> Sweetheart, pay attention. You're cutting too tight. Come on, Melinda, concentrate. Come on! Oh, no. Oh. Melinda, come on over. Ah, we cut those a little close, did we? Whoa. Take your boot out the stirrup. Did you adjust these? Dallas did. Said they were too short. Mm-hmm. Everybody's an expert. That's why he lost the stirrup. Good news. That run was an 18 flat. But I knocked down all the barrels. Well, that's why we're going to try it again, huh? There you go. All set? Yep. Right away. Here we go. Ready? Go ahead. There you go. There you go. Look at good. That's the barrel. Sit. Sit. Good. Good, Melinda. Come on. Go for the barrel. Now kick it, kick it, kick it. Bring it on. Here we go, here we go. There you go. Yes. All right, Melinda, that one was 15.9. Yes. Huh? I did it. I broke 17. Good job. I want to ride again. All right, you got it. You got it. Head over. Because Ginger's hurt like me, I couldn't even ride her if I wanted to. That is not the point. What if you get kicked or stepped on? Ginger wouldn't do that. She loves me. You're not fair. You had a horse when you were my age. That was different. I wasn't injured. I wish Daddy were alive. He'd let me have Ginger. Sonny, Daddy wouldn't let you have anything that was bad for you. Ginger's not bad for me! She's my only real friend. Do you think Dr. Olson is a smart man? I guess. Okay. I will make a deal with you. If Dr. Olson says that it's okay for you to be around Ginger, then you can have her. You promise? Judge John, you look mighty fine in this new car. I don't think it. Something about a horse with wheels. Melinda, say hi to Mr. Hathaway. Hi, Mr. Hathaway. Girl, you're growing faster than a weed on a cow pie, and you're just as pretty as your mom. Let's go inside. I'm well, I talked to my company about sponsoring Melinda. Ed Honcho likes the idea, but there's a little wrinkle. Wrinkle? What's that? Not gonna happen this year. Melinda did real good last year on the regionals, but uh, Vets Pride gonna sponsor her. She's gonna have to win the state championship. That's a lot to ask of a 12-year-old. Full ride, college scholarship, all expenses, gear, saddle, truck, trailer. Oh, and I forgot to mention, $100,000 cash. <laughs> To win, she needs a new horse, John, not that broken down bag of bones that Ben's got her on. If I were you, Dallas, I'd listen to Ben. If he's got her riding a nag, he's got reasons for it. Forget Ben. 
What about a new horse, John? Okay. Name's Steele. Charlie Dobson's selling him, but he's expensive. How expensive? Very. I can handle that. Ben named her Ginger because she's the same color as Gingerbread. He sold her to me for four dollars. She got banged up in a rodeo, and she limps just like me. And I just don't think that a grown man should be selling a little girl a horse, and an injured little girl at that. And he didn't even it's ask right. me my wait, permission. Wait, 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 wait. Time out, everyone. Take a, take a deep breath. Hmm? All right, Sonny, why don't you hop up on the table now? Well, that was very good. My mom said if you said it was okay, I could keep Ginger. All right, so suppose you tell me what's going on. Well, she has been hanging out at this guy's stable, this Ben character, and he sold her this crippled horse. Ginger. Uh, Ginger for four dollars. I just don't think that it's a good idea for her to be around horses, but I promised her that I would talk to you before I made my decision. Oh, so I see. I can be the bad guy, huh? I get the picture. Your main concern is that Sonny doesn't re-injure her leg, huh? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, it's true. There certainly is some risk involved in owning a horse. But that has to be weighed against the possible good it can do. So, Sonny, how's your, how's your leg doing? Better. Uh-huh. How better? I don't limp as bad. And it doesn't hurt like before. Yeah, well, you certainly seem to be doing a lot better than you were the last time I saw you. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, I would have to agree. Now, son, are you going to be riding this horse? No. I just walk her. Ben said nobody can ride her because of her leg. Dr. Ellison. Oh, yes. Start to up, Judge. I've checked the x-rays, and I have them in my office when you care to come in and discuss them. All right, thank you. I'll be right in. Well, medically speaking, Mrs. Matthews, there's really no reason why Sonny shouldn't have Ginger. Oh, please, Mom, you promise. Oh, boy. Please? Well, this is against my better judgment, but okay, a promise is a promise. Thank you, 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 thank you. Hey, stable girl. <coughs> You're still wasting your time on that old crow bait? I thought I told you the only thing she'd be good for is glue. <coughs> hey, maybe you can get her a wooden leg. I hear they got them real cheap at Sears. Don't you girls have some place to be getting to? Huh? Go on. What is it? Why are you crying? Those girls said terrible things about Ginger. You believe it? Let me tell you something. If you're going to be a cowgirl, you got to be tough. You can't let mean people hurt your feelings. Believe me, I know. Is Ben a real cowboy? Oh, you bet. Ben and me, we rode the rodeo circuit together for a lot of years. Buddy, can Ginger get well? I don't know. That says she's crippled. Maybe he was wrong. Oh, could be. Ben and me, we'll look into it a little more for you, OK? Thank you. OK, honey. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Mr. Taylor. The damage to the ankle is extensive. The nerve isn't damaged, that's for sure. She can feel his injury. Oh, oh, oh. Easy. I'll do my best to make friends with Ginger. Don't worry, Mom. She'll love you just fine. What are they doing, Mom? I don't know. Well, thanks a lot, Doc. I heard about a fellow over at the horse hospital who's been doing some experimental surgery on crippled horses. Do you know anything about him, Doc? Oh, you must be talking about Dale Jansen. Yeah, that's the fellow. Yeah, well, he's had some success with some new techniques, but he's expensive. Mm. He could run you as high as 10,000, and it still ain't for sure. Well, Doc, I'm glad you stopped by. Appreciate it. Sure. How much is $10,000? A lot. It's enough to buy a car. Do we have $10,000? No, I'm afraid we don't even have one. Howdy. Ginger, this is my mom. Hi, Ginger. What a nice horse. Oh, Ginger's the best. If she didn't have that bad leg, she'd be worth 50 grand, huh? Yeah, a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'll talk to this Doc Jansen, see what he has to say. Maybe he can cut us a discount, something. I don't want you to go to any trouble. No, 
no trouble to ask a question or two. Let's get her put back. That steel is a powerful horse. Think Melinda can handle him? Look, I told Melinda that I didn't spend $30,000 and risk losing this place to have her hold back. She'll do it. We'll see. Come on, Sonny. Give me three more, just three more, and we're done for the day. Doctor, yeah. I've been on this thing for 20 minutes already. Oh, okay. Go ahead and get off, Alexandra. Okay. Thanks, Doctor. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good job. I can't. Come on, you just did, Sonny. Two more. But it hurts. I know. Keep going. Last one. Last one, Sonny. Yes! Good job! Yes! Now, that's how hard you have to work every time. If you want to get that leg better, okay? Jesse? Yes. Could therapy help a horse with a bad leg? Hmm. I don't know anything about horses. But, um, if there's no bones broken, I don't see how it can hurt. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you see, I told you it'd be good for you to get out of the house for a while. Oh, well, I'm still not sure I'm very good company. Oh, you're the best company I've had in a long time. Oh, please. A man like you? A a handsome, successful doctor must have women chasing after him. Oh, Kathleen, there are so many gold diggers out there. I don't even tell a woman what I do until the second or third date. <laughs> well, your secret is safe with me. I hate to bring this up during dinner, but how do you think Sonny is doing? Well, for a while, <clears throat> to be quite honest, I was concerned. Her attitude was so down. She didn't seem to be trying to get better. But I have to say, this horse seems to have been just the right medicine to lift her spirits. Ginger. Mm, ginger. I still worry about her sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Olson, oh, Hugh. 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 Now listen, Ginger. I'm keeping up my end of our deal. I've been working my butt off, and Jesse says I'm really getting better. Now you gotta try harder and let me help you get your leg fixed. We're gonna run so fast, those girls are gonna be so sorry they said anything mean about you. Yeah. We're gonna leave him with a big mouthful of dust. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Uh huh. Yes. Does that feel a little bit better? We're gonna get this. Just finished bedding down, feeding the horses. Everything's all nice and quiet. Oh, good. I thought I'd go over to the wagon wheel and get my deep. Mm. Want to come along? No. No, thanks, buddy. Not hungry. All right. Hey, now. Don't you go getting depressed on us, huh? We worked three long, hard years staying sober. Don't mess it up. Buddy, I'm fine. You gotta have yourself a good dinner. See you bright and early in the morning. Okay. Night. Night. When I saw you standing there, 
Gingerbread. Shut up, Melinda. Uh, well, Ben's trailer's gone, and so is Ginger. Now let's see. What's one plus one? Shut up! Hey! Hey! Me. That's it! Fight's over! Come on! Come on, girls! Get up! That's it! Come on! Stop! Fight's over! What's going on? Get off. Simmer down, on both here? of you. What are you trying to put yourself back in the hospital or just give me a heart attack? Come on, girl, start talking. Well, I couldn't find you. She said you took Ginger the dog food man. Ginger's fine. There's no one gonna hurt your horse. What is going through your head? Don't say something hurtful like that, huh? I, I don't know. Well, why don't you go think about it till you do? We don't talk that way around here. Are you gonna tell Dallas? You got a reason I shouldn't? Look, Sonny, I'm real sorry. If you wanna hate me, you got a right to. It's okay. I'm sorry, too. <gasps> well, now, uh, Mrs. Matthews, would you and Sonny care to join me on a short trip? Where to? Go see Ginger. She'll be in the recovery stall right up here. She's already had her surgery, so it's okay. Go on in. Say hi. It's okay. You can touch her. Just be careful. A little sore. Ginger, it's me. <laughs> it's me. Ben, who's gonna pay for this? Well, Doc said that Ginger was such an interesting case that he did it as an experiment, so I'm not gonna cost a penny. Hey, Doc, this here's Kathleen Matthews, her daughter, Sonny. Howdy, nice to meet all of you. Nice to meet you. Well, Doc, tell us what you found. Well, as it turns out, there was significant damage to the fetlock, but fortunately, most of it was soft tissue. I reconstructed two tendons and uh, removed some bone chips from the joint. <laughs> what does that mean? That means that I would Give her about 30 days or so before you ride her, but she should be fine. Ginger, do you hear that? You're going to be the fastest horsey in the whole world. Yes, you oh, okay. I think it's time we went home. I think Ginger could use a little rest. Okay. Bye, Ginger. I'll see you later, okay? What did you say? Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, why don't you go on ahead? I'll be with you in just a minute. There's 2,000. I'll be other eight next month. That's a deal. Thanks. Thanks for playing along. Not a problem, Ben. Ginger looks great. Well, Doc says Ginger can come home in a few days. Okay. I want to make this clear. This doesn't change anything. Sonny can't ride her. 
Well, Mom, that's not Sonny, fair. that's the end of this discussion. You and I have an agreement. You know, if y'all aren't doing anything right now, I'd kind of like to show you something. I'm sorry, we have plans. No, we don't. Excuse me? Look, look, won't take long. Lunch will be on me. Come on, please, Mom. Exactly where would we be going? Well, with all due respect, ma'am, I'd kind of like that to be a surprise. Come on, hop in. Please. Come on. All right, but we can't stay out long. You're the greatest! Folks, no rodeo would be complete without ladies' barrel racing. Up next to Miss Melinda Judd on Brother John. Sonny, what'd you think? Melinda was great. Uh-huh. Her horse is as fast as lightning. Can Ginger go that fast? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> you know, Melinda's the one who said those mean things about Ginger. Oh, well, don't hold it against her. She's got a hard road to hoe. What does that mean, hard road to hoe? It means that Melinda's got a lot of problems. There. In you go. Watch your toes. You know, you really set me up here. Oh, Mrs. Matthews, I just wanted Sonny to see a real rodeo. Could you just take us home, please? You know, experience has taught me that when a kid loves a horse this much and wants to ride so bad, there's nothing anybody can do except to love him, guide him, and stay the heck out of the way. Yeah, great fun. Hey, buddy. You seen Sunny around this morning? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's around here someplace. Yeah. I gotta tell you, oh, she keeps herself busy with that bad leg and all. She is a cutie pie. <laughs> <laughs> We're making it. Oh, we got the barrel. Yes, we won, Ginger. We won. Yes, we did. Oh, Ginger. Hey. We won. That ain't allowed around here. At least not without a good hat. Every real cowgirl should have one. Well, that's it. Keep riding. Which one of Sonny's pile? <laughs> one on the right. Uh, your dad gave me this before he died. I don't know what it's worth, but I know it's worth something. Sure, buddy? That watch is your pride and joy. It is. Uh, but she's my pride and joy now. I appreciate that. Don't just stand there with your teeth in your mouth. What is it? I'm finished cleaning the stalls. Did you fill the water barrels? Yep. What are these? There's some old junk I keep around. Where'd you buy this one? I want it. I was younger, I used to do some road daily. Are these real gold? 18 carat salad gold. You must really love them. Yeah. Don't trade those spurs for anything. Why'd you quit being the cowboy? Who are they? The ugly one's me. Dallas, you know. Who's the little girl? Go on, go on, get out of here. Go feed the horses before they climb out of their stalls. Go.
Ben, we need to talk. Just say what's on your mind, Dallas. Don't sugarcoat it or nothing. Melinda won't be taking lessons from you anymore. Your money. By the way, I saw Melinda's new mount at the rodeo the other night. Steele's good horse. We're gonna stable him at our place. That's swell. I suppose you don't want Melinda riding over here with her friends. Melinda can ride over here anytime she pleases. <laughs> Pen, are you feeling okay? Dallas, you remember what happened. Don't you do the same thing. She can make it to the top, Ben. And I'm going to make sure she gets there. I saw her at the rodeo. She stands a chance. If you don't ride her so hard. Really, Ben? Coming from you, you're nothing but a cactus-covered marshmallow. If you want to win, you've got to grab it. Nobody's going to hand it to you. And using our past to make a point <laughs> is cheap, Ben. Linda's going to be a winner. I'm nothing like you. You're right, Dallas. How's that, Ben? You're using Melinda to make your point. Hey there. Hi. What you doing? Good cowboy takes care of his tech. I'm done. I figured. You know, my mom's really mad at you. Figured that too. She doesn't want me to ride. Yeah. She's afraid you're gonna get hurt. Could you talk to her? <laughs> well, that's between you and your mom. See, I already stuck my nose in where it don't belong. I'll tell you one thing, though. You wanna ride Ginger, you're gonna have to do your therapy. It takes good strong legs to ride a horse. That gimpy one of yours just isn't gonna cut it. I'm gonna ride Ginger. See. He's not a doctor. He doesn't know what's good for your leg. Yes, he does. He said my leg wasn't strong enough. He said I'll have to do my therapy if I want to ride. You just don't like him. I don't dislike him, Sonny. I just don't like him meddling in our business. He's just trying to help me. You are not riding, and that's final. Hi. I just sent some down to physical therapy. Well, what's going on? Well, now she wants to ride the and Ben's got her believing that she can do it. Ben again. You know, I would really feel better if you were involved. Well, I'll, I'll go out there and check on things if you like that. Oh, would you do that, Hugh? <laughs> what? No, oh, you, you call me Hugh. <sighs> oh, what's gotten into her? I mean, she's gone crazy. In a good way, I hope. 110%, Doc. I mean, I'm going to have to slow her down. She's burning up all of our machines. <laughs> Look at her. Promise me that you're not going to try to ride Ginger till I say it's okay. I promise. My mom says you're a bad influence on me. That's so. What else she said? She doesn't like the way you look. That a fact? Yep. Well, I gotta go. Mm -hmm. My mom's cooking dinner. Bye-bye, mm. Ginger. Bye. Ginger, what do you think? Thought so. Here. Dallas, you told me to stop by. Ben? Well, I'll be... Is that really you? Dallas, what is it you want? Johnny's going to teach Melinda. 
I said I'd teach her if you agreed, Ben. I ain't trying to cut in on your deal. Ah, uh, you're welcome to her, Johnny. Are you sure? Johnny, you'd be doing me a favor. Dallas here was about to drive me to drink. Weren't you, Dallas? No, don't exaggerate, Ben. We don't see eye to eye all the time, but there aren't any hard feelings. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dallas. One day you'll make somebody a great husband. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Hey, Rocky, we're gonna go down to the reservoir and take a swim. You wanna come with us? Gee, I'd love to, but I can't. I still got a lot of chores to do. Thanks anyway. Oh, well, maybe next time. Hi, my name's Susan, and this is where my horse Pocket is. You want some help, Sunny? Sure, thanks. I was kinda expecting her to say something mean again. <laughs> Ain't no one ever stood up to her before. She's been talking about her all week. Said you tackled her right into the ground. <laughs> she calls you Rocky like the boxer. <laughs> so that's what she meant. Have you ever met Dallas? I think I've seen her out in the ring with Melinda. Why is she so hard on her? You want to know the story? Sure. Well, this is what my mom told me. Ben married Dallas a year before Ben's daughter Sherry died. That must be the little girl I saw in the picture with Dallas and Ben. And right after Sherry died, Dallas and Ben got a divorce. Meanwhile, Dallas's own daughter, Shannon, eloped and had a baby. And she and her husband moved to South America. And they left the baby with Dallas. Melinda's Dallas's granddaughter? Uh-huh. Anyways, Mom says Dallas blames herself for what happened to Shannon on account she was this big rodeo queen and was never home to take care of her. So when Melinda came along, it was kind of like a second chance to do it right. Sounds like Melinda's got a hard road to hoe. What? Well, that's what Ben said. Melinda's got a hard road to hoe. Oh, OK. Good girl. Good girl. Not bad for being laid up for five months, huh? Wow. Hey, buddy. You looking good now, Ben. Uh, What's she gonna look like when she gets in shape? Huh? Better and better, right, Sonny? Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. Ben, she's fabulous. Wow. He's as frisky as a young filly. Come on in. Been expecting you. What do you mean by that? Well, you're here to tell me that if anything happens to Sonny, you're going to blame me. Is that right? Something like that. Look, Miss Matthews. I don't want to argue with you. You want to blame me if something happens. That's fine. I can live with that. Gonna have to. You look better without the hair. Uh, what about a saddle? You're not gonna let her ride bare back, are you? Not hardly. You bet. Easy there, Ginger. Hey, Sonny. I got it. From now on, this will be your saddle. Wait a minute, Ben. Now, Mrs. Matthews, just an old kid saddle. I don't have any use for it. Sonny might as well have it. Sonny, I want you to watch me do this. You're going to have to learn how. <laughs> the things I told you? Mm-hmm. And we're gonna go through them one more time before I turn you loose. Okay. All right, come on up here. Come on. Here you go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Up we go. How are the stirrups? Okay. Here's the rain, honey. Okay. 
There you go. Keep those heels down. All right, show me how you hold reins. Good. Keep a good grip on those reins. You drop those, she'll take off. Show me how you turn to the right. Good. Turn to the left. Real good. Show me how you stop her. Good. Don't be afraid to pull back hard. She's a big horse. And if you run into some trouble, you just hold on to that saddle horn. Uh, and, Sonny, if your leg starts to hurt, you just, just stop, right? Ready to give her a try? All right. Let's go. Come on, Ginger. There you go. Honey, you be careful. So far, so good. Yeah. Okay. How about that? Mm-hmm. She's a darling. Look, look, I'm riding! Sonny, slow down. Yeah, yeah, keep it slow, gal. Then she wants to go, I can feel it. I know, keep a tight grip on those reins. You're not ready to run her yet. Keep the reins tight. Sonny, you listen to Ben, do you hear me? Yes, Mom. Sonny, Sonny, take it easy. Sonny? Sonny, slow down. Sonny? Sonny? Easy, Ginger. Ginger, Ginger. Young lady, you climb down off that horse right now. Now, you just made three big mistakes. Number one, you ran Ginger before she was warmed up. You could have crippled her all over again. Number two, you disobeyed me. Number three, you scared your mom. Now, I think you've got some apologies to make here. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Ben. And I'm really, really sorry, Ginger. I didn't mean to hurt you on it. Yeah, well, just so you don't forget, I want you to take Ginger and walk around this arena for one hour. You understand? Yes, sir. All right. Get to it. A little rough on that, wasn't she? You ever been up on a horse? Well, no. Well, you I'm stick sure. with the doctor. I'll handle the ride. Ben, she did really well out there, didn't she? Buddy? You ever seen anyone ride like that first time out of the box? Not in 65 years of riding horses. She did darn good. Come on in, Melinda. Get out there, honey. That's a girl. How's Melinda doing, Dallas? She's getting there. Come on. What ails you? <laughs> What's this I hear about you firing Ben? Who told you? Nothing secret around here, darling. I think getting rid of Ben is a mistake. And why is that? Because Ben will stand up to you, and Johnny won't. Now drive to the barrel. Drive! Stay down in the saddle. You were too high in the turns. Melinda's going to win the state championship. You can bank on it. I hope you're right. Get over here, Melinda. Morning, Mr. Hathaway. Howdy. No more goofing off. I want you out here six hours a day, and I'm canceling your week at camp. But, Mom, all my friends are going. Use your head, Melinda. Now, do you want to go to camp or be a state champion, huh? All right, let's try some big circles. Nice and wide. Keep the heels down. Heels down, Sonny. Good. Good grip on the reins. Just relax into the posting. Just relax. Good. Well, you're looking, you're looking pretty darn good. I tell you what, uh, I'll go ahead and set out the barrels. You trot Ginger through five times at a trot. Now, you understand? Okay. All right. Teach me to ride. Gates are hard. Pucky doesn't like to do anything but walk and run, <laughs> especially coming back to the corral. Ginger don't like to trot. 
You going to enter the Gymkhana Saturday? It's only a practice one. I don't think I'm good enough. You look good enough to me. They let anyone enter, even me and Pokey. Ben, can I ride in the Gymkhana Saturday? Well, I don't know. You want to ride? Susan asked me to. Well, it's fine by me, but you better ask your mom. OK. Cool. I got to go, OK? Bye. Bye. Sonny. Oh, oh, Ginger. All right. Now, I want you to run the barrels five times at a? Trot. At a trot. Very good. And then cool her down and brush her out. Yes, sir. Coach. Get to work, kid. <laughs> Folks, Ben and I really appreciate the turnout today. And we hope you're all having a great time. Our next bow racer is a newcomer, Miss Sunny Matthews, in a very first competition on her own horse, Ginger. Give them both a big welcome. Now, you're not going to believe this, folks. 18.2 for Sunny Matthews. Now, how about that? Oh, 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 Ginger. Oh, that was a great ride. Sweetheart, you did beautifully. Oh. How does your leg feel? Great. Good. Oh, Ginger's looking great. Here, why don't you take her and cool her down for about 10 minutes, walk her around. Okay. We'll see you in a few minutes. OK. Come on. That was a good run. I didn't know you could ride that well. She only started riding last week. Really? Are you going to enter the regionals? I don't think so. I don't know anything about it. Besides, your run was way better than mine. Oh, well. See you around. Bye. What's the big deal about the regionals? $2,500 to the winner. And whoever wins the regionals goes to state. And it's 50000 there. I don't care about that stuff. I just love to ride ginger. Be trouble, Melinda. Maybe she just had a lucky run. I don't think so. She sat that horse too well. She said she wasn't going to enter. You want to bank on that? No. I want you to keep an eye on her. You can do that, can't you? I guess. Don't guess. Do it. I want to thank you for everything you've done for Sonny. Ginger, the saddle, everything. My, my pleasure. We didn't get off to a very good start. I was hoping we could start again. That would be fine by me, Mrs. Matthews. <laughs> would you stop calling me Mrs. Matthews? Everybody calls me Kathy. Kathy. You know, Sunny did great out there, didn't uh, uh, Is she really that good? Yeah. Yeah, she's just really that good. Wow. Well, now then, I, uh, I do have a rather special brandy to round off the evening, if you care for a glass. Oh, I would love so. Good. Dinner was amazing. I had no idea you could cook like that. <laughs> Well, I went to France to uh, school there for a year when I was young. The family I lived with had a gourmet chef. So I made a point of learning everything I could from him. There we go. Thank you. So, you like antiques? Yeah, they're beautiful. I, I'd be afraid I'd break something, though. <laughs> Must be worth a fortune. <laughs> well, yes, a lot of them were handed down to me from my family. Some of the other little knickknacks I picked up on my travels. All museum quality, though. <gasps> now that horse Sonny would love. <laughs> ah, well, now I bet she would. Uh, this little blighter cost me a fortune. <laughs> blighter? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ben told me she did really well in the Gymkhana. Yes, you talk a lot about Ben. Do I need to feel jealous? Of course not. <laughs> Kathleen, please. Ah, uh, Kathleen.
Kathleen, I, I grew up in a big house. Not bigger than this one, actually. But it never got lonely because my parents and my brothers and my sisters are always there. The thing is, a house doesn't become a home until there's the right woman and the right family living in it. To us. Wanted to go all out. You just touch her with those spurs. Not too hard. Of course, she's real sensitive. Okay. You all set? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's give it a shot. Okay. See how this goes. Huh? Curl her around. All righty. All out. Here you go. Here you go. If you ever lose track of me, you know that I'm the one. You find me working every day, just howling at the sun. Well, the hot ain't really cool to me, but there's no shade under the gun. I take my chances anywhere when I'm howling at the sun. Howling at the sun. Howling at the sun. All right, now kick it. Bring her home. Bring her home. Good. 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 When I'm howling at the sun. Howling at the sun. Whoa, 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 whoa. 17 seconds. Ah. She went faster. Yeah. Well, spurs are a good thing, so long as you don't overuse them. Hi! Sonny, when you're practicing, you don't let nothing distract you, gal. And talk to them later, huh? Okay. Okay, now, we gotta correct a little problem. You're going around those barrels, you're leaning a little too far into the turn. That's throwing Ginger off balance, all right? You wanna sit up straight in your saddle. When you're racing, that saddle horn, belly button, back of the saddle. You keep in line the whole time, you understand? Okay, like this? Yeah, just like that. Okay. Even when I'm going around the barrel? That's any time you're riding. All right, let's try another run. This time, keep your line, huh? Okay. All right, go ahead. There you go, Ginger. Here you go. All out. Did you see that, Melinda? Yeah, I saw it. I'm standing right here. Come on, let's get a soda. That's 16. 16 <laughs> one. That's good. Really good. <laughs> I did what you said, Pen. You sure did. All right, well, go let Ginger cool off and then put her in her pen. Okay, come on. Go on ahead. Come on. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think we got the makings of a champion. Yeah, I think you're about right there. I'm sorry, Doc. Supposed to get a check from this horse dealer. He went bust, left me in the lurch. Ah, oh, Ben, I don't, I don't mean to be putting pressure on you, but uh, on eight thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars, can't you borrow it or something? Uh, I'm trying. I'm selling some stock, getting rid of the old truck. God. I don't want to confiscate this girl's horse. Right, I'll tell you what I can do. I will. I'll give you 90 days, but but that's all. I appreciate that. You did a heck of a job on Ginger. That's good to hear. Tell you what, you stop by any Friday, watch Ginger run those barrels, huh? I'll take you up on that. All right. Thanks again. Sixteen three, not bad, Melinda. But it's not good enough. Yesterday, Sonny wrote a sixteen one. Melinda, why didn't you tell me? You're the one that said Ben wasn't teaching me right. Stay on that horse. You're not finished. 
going. I rode a 15.9 yesterday. Wow, that's fast. Super fast. Watch this. Yeah! Come on, Steel, let's go. Come on. Oh, Steel, let's go. Come on. Did you see that? Steel's dogging it. Shouldn't you warm him up a little before you run him? Ben said you can cripple a horse by running him cold. Nah, Steel's a champion. Watch this. Come on, Steel. Come on, let's go. Go, Steel. It's a ride on yeah. the tail of the wind. Come on. Hold me close, we're gonna take off again. Break the speed of sound in the blue sky above. Yeah, it's a Come ride on, on my let's love. Go. You just have to push him. That was my best time yet, and Steel wasn't even going all out. We'll be ready for regionals. Regionals? The regional rodeo championship. Sonny, you should enter, but you gotta have the entry fee in by Friday. I need to. I mean, I want to. I mean, how much is it? A hundred dollars. Come on, Steel. Hey, yeah. I have to beat her at the regional rodeo or I don't go to state, right? No, the two fastest regional riders go to state, not just the winner. Why? I gotta win. Gotta win them both. Mom? I, I need $100. What for? I have to ride in the regional rodeo. The barrel race. Nonsense. You're not ready to ride in a rodeo. I'm better than everyone but Melinda. Even Ben said so. Honey, those girls have been riding for years. Don't you think you should wait for a year or two? I have to ride this year. Have you asked Ben what he thinks about it? No. Sonny, there's a big difference between riding Ginger up at Ben's place and riding in a rodeo. Besides... It's I don't think I can spare a hundred dollars. If I win, I get five thousand dollars. I could pay you back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Southwest Regional Rodeo. Today's competition will feature camp open Bulldog and Saddle Rock Red and the Regional Ladies Barrel Racing Championship. This competition is going on there. Get her out. Come on, Ginger. Time to stretch those legs. Come on. Easy. Easy. Easy, girl. Easy. I got her, buddy. Come on. I'm scared, buddy. What if I don't do good? Oh, what are you talking about? You're gonna do good. Ginger, she doesn't look worried, does she? No, come on. <laughs> Sonny, don't dawdle now. Get her brushed down. There you go. Get her over there and get her warmed up. That was Susan Hendricks. Do bad, darling. Better luck next time. Our next rider is Miss Sonny Matthews on Ginger. I'm sorry. We'll get him next time, Susan. And remember, if you lose your hat, you lose points. All right, just go out there and have some fun, huh? Just another practice run around the barrels. Go ahead, Ginger. Here she is. <laughs> You mind your head now. Come on. Come on. This is Sonny's friend. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Lean, sweetheart. Lean. Oh, Come on. 
before you walk, sing before you talk, break down the walls yes. of Jericho. Yes. Don't sink before you swim, lose before you win, win. break yeah. down the walls on, of Jericho. Looking good, Melinda. I was very impressed. You remember Melinda? She won first prize. Hi, congratulations, Melinda. Your horse is beautiful. Thank you. Melinda! I have to go. Bye. Bye. Whoop. Come on, boy. How are you, Dallas? I've been worse. Linda looked real good today. Oh, well, she can do better. <laughs> you know, Dallas, Melinda won $10 million in the lottery. You'd complain that it wasn't 20. <laughs> <laughs> Just show me the 10 million and we'll see. Oh, well, I'm rooting for Melinda, but uh, Sonny looked good out there. Considering she ain't been riding that long. You saw who won Dutch John, and that's the bottom line. Can't argue with you. We are up early. Good morning. Ben, mm. what do you think? Is steel faster than ginger? Not by a long shot. See, ginger can't run full out if you're making mistakes. What did I do wrong? Well, you were fine up until that last barrel. And when Ginger cut around it, you're still leaning in a little too far and threw her off balance. Just sit in the middle of your saddle. Could you watch me, please, and see if this is okay? Well, sure, kid, but uh, take her easy, huh? Nobody expects you to be perfect. Ginger does. Ginger does, huh? in my new car. It's beautiful. Here, yeah, come on, hop in. I'll take you for a spin. You can uh, burn some rubber. Sonny's waiting for me. I have to go pick her up. Oh, come on. We won't be gone for more than a minute. Come on. Live a little. Last night I woke from oh, a dream. beautiful. I thought I heard me call your name. I've been so worried. I've been Look in here. This? Yeah, that. Open it. It's stunning. Kathleen, make me the happiest man in the world. I don't know if I'm ready to make a decision like this. And I have to talk to Sonny. Why? You're an adult. You, you, you don't need her permission. Well, she's a part of this, too. If we were to get married, you would be her new dad. Hugh, I, I just don't think I'm ready. No, no you, you 
you keep it. It might help my cause. Hey, Sonny. Sonny, pack it in. Starting to rain. Hey, it's just drizzling. Come on. Ginger's not even warmed up. Good. You don't have to worry about cooling her down. We don't run the barrels in the rain. Come on, pack it in. Yes, sir. Come on. Hey! Sonny, I said pack it in! Sonny! Sonny! see any sign of concussion. Uh, she's got a pin in her right leg. I checked it. Everything seems fine. Mom, is Ginger okay? I'm sure she's fine. Where's Ben? I didn't think it was a good idea for Ben to be with us right now. Mom? Ben told me not to ride in the rain. I did it anyway. I disobeyed him. I'm sorry. I really am. Can I take her home now? Sure. Good luck, Sonny. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're going to need it. Let's go. I came to apologize for what I said. It, it wasn't your fault. I just wanted someone to blame. No need to apologize, Mrs. Matthews. You were right. How's Sunny doing? Well, she's got a few scratches, and she's pretty down in the mouth, but it's, it's nothing that a ride on her horse and a hug from her coach won't cure. Yeah. I'm good for the hug, but... Uh... I'm not going to be doing any more coaching. But don't be ridiculous. She needs you. You know, I had a, a daughter, Sherry, and she was killed, and a horse fell on her in the rain. It's about the same age as Sonny. And, uh, and you want to know why she was out riding a horse in the rain? It's because she knew I wanted her to win. I'm sorry, I had no idea. That's what I talk about. But then what happened to Sonny was an accident. You can't blame yourself. No. Not open to discussion. Ben Taylor, don't you dare walk away from me. This discussion is not over. I'm sorry about your daughter. I am. 
I know what it feels like to lose someone that you love. I feel the loss of my husband every day. I cry myself to sleep every night. Believe me, I know what that kind of pain feels like. But nothing, nothing compared to the hurt that I felt when I had to look Sunny in the eye and tell her that she lost her father. I will not do that again. She paints the world with you, Ben. You want to quit on her, you be man enough to do it yourself. Cowgirl, where's your hat? I didn't think you'd want me to wear it anymore. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I wish I had a dollar for every mistake I've ever made in my life. I'd be a rich man. I'm sorry I disobeyed you. I'm sorry I almost hurt Ginger. Well, we're lucky here, see? Because we're all okay. And we're getting a second chance to do things right. Next time, we might not be so lucky. Well, when can I practice to ride again? Oh. How long till you can go get that hat? <laughs> About 10 seconds. Nine, <laughs> eight, <laughs> seven, <laughs> six, here we go. Suffer to be beautiful. Time for you to get over to the arena, get Ginger warmed up. And I want you to come back here, okay? Ben, I haven't seen Dallas and Linda. Have you? Well, I bet wherever they are, they're not worrying about you, that's for sure. Come on, Ginger. Now, I want you to focus on what you and Ginger have to get done, all right? Don't you worry about them. Go on. Get her good and warmed up. Go ahead. Go, Ginger. Aren't you, Dallas? Not much time till Melinda rides. Bumper to bumper traffic. Melinda's headed for the warm up ring, and Johnny's getting us registered. Well, good luck. See you after the race. Where are you going? Can we watch together? I got something I gotta do. Buddy, where's Ben? Oh, he'll be along, too, sweet. Don't you go anywhere. He's got a surprise for you. Okay. Oh, Steele. 
can only run once. I know. That's okay. Hmm. Here, let me take steel. I can run ahead and find us some seats. She is something, ain't she, Sherry? Our next rider is last year's runner-up for the state championship, Miss Melinda Judd. She is on a new horse, Steel. What the heck is she doing on that horse? No. She's gonna win, that's what. Will be riding Come on, girl. A horse that was to be ridden by Sonny Matthews. Well, that's Rory for you. Yes. Anyways, here she is, Miss Melinda Judd. Yeah, I'm a 
seems like Melinda ran Steele before he'd warmed up. Steele came up lame, so Sonny here gave Melinda Ginger to win the race. Sweetheart. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hat. We have a new state record of 14-9. Give that young lady a great big hand. That's got to be a winner. Ben tell you, I'm really sorry. I think you should share this win with Sonny. You bet. Come on, Sonny, we'll do the victory lap sure. together. Let me get her up. Oh, there you go. Way to go, you three. <laughs> you got one special girl there, you know. Yeah, thanks. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Melinda Judd, our new state champion. I think she has a pretty special coach. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I think that's Sonny Matthews, the owner of Ginger. That's a great horse you have there, Sonny. We hope to see you ride next year here at the state finals. It's going to be all right, let's go. Where are they? Here they are. Hey, girls. <laughs> <laughs> you did so. Oh, you were. Come here. Come here, uh, you. Ben? Ginger? What is it, darling? I was going to give you the money to pay that Dr. Jansen if I won. I'm really, really sorry. Did you hear what I heard, Ben? <laughs> now, that's a good kid. Sonny, what do you know about that? I heard you guys talking. Wait a minute, you paid for Ginger's surgery? I made a down payment. Well, Ben, Tom's insurance claim hasn't been settled yet. That should be coming in soon. No, no, no. There's still plenty for me to sell. Nobody's going to sell anything. And nobody's going to use any insurance money. And nobody's going to take that beautiful horse away from this little girl. We've got $100,000 in sponsorship money coming, besides what we won tonight. And the way I figure it, half that money belongs to Sonny and Ginger. No, oh, Dallas. Wait a Don't argue with me, Ben, or you either. Sonny, I thought I knew something about what it takes to be a winner. But I didn't know anything. The little I know now, I just learned from you. And you. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Sonny. Ginger's great. Hey, don't go anywhere. Hold up, Ben. I am so proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of you, too. And you, too. <laughs> I was wrong, Ben. There's nothing broken down about you. No. No, she did it all by herself. You taught her. We were better friends than we were husband and wife, weren't we, Ben? Maybe if, if it had been the other way around, we wouldn't have fallen apart when Jerry died. Maybe. Still friends? <laughs> <laughs> well, Dallas, look who's the cactus-covered marshmallow now. <laughs> Get out of here. Come on, Melinda. I don't want to be here all night. Go. How many times has Ben told you not to run until you've warmed up? But Dallas... I hire the best horsemen in the country, and you don't listen. Oh, Grandma. Well, folks, how was that for a great farewell competition? Sonny, come here. Our That's something for you. Just as exciting. Lady Fairback Strong Rider. Our first lady up is Jackie Longfrey. These are yours now. Just west of here. She's drawn Man Jack. When you're old enough, you can wear them. See what you did today. I took a special kind of person. You burn him. Hang on, Jackie. Hang on. Oh, sweetheart, what do you say? Thank you. <laughs> oh. You're welcome. Here, keep them all wrapped up. Take good care okay. of them. Let's go put them away while you're at it. Now, buddy, put Ginger away. Let's load her up. <laughs> That was a really nice thing you just did. Oh. 
Been a wild day, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and then some. You know, uh... Dr. Olson asked me to marry him. Yeah. Got a couple problems, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A, I don't love him. B, he doesn't ride a horse. And C, I think I found somebody I might like better. What are you peeking at? Anyone I know? <laughs> Maybe. Let's not get caught. Come on. 